everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson, bringing you an RPV TV update from the 24th annual South Bay Cities Council of Governments General Assembly. This year's theme is artificial intelligence, friend or foe. Let's step inside the conference to hear what experts and our local leaders are saying about AI. My name is Cedric Hicks, the city councilman for the city of Carson and the chair of the South Bay Cog. We're here having our General Assembly in the city of Carson and our subject matter is artificial intelligence, friend or foe. Wanted to get information out to our South Bay co colleagues and let them know, you know, our AI is here. It's not going anywhere. It's going to be here for a while to understand how it's going to impact their communities, how it's going to impact their families and their residents. So hopefully as we have over 500 registered participants to be here this afternoon, that they will get that information and take back with them. One thing I'm very thrilled about that Google came on board and they're part of our exhibits. So if you want to get some good information and if you missed it, I'm sorry, but it will be available on the South Bay Cause website. But Google is here. AI is here, and I'm thrilled that we're having this event here. Hi, John Crookshank, Mayor of Rancho Palos Verdes. So we're here at the South Bay City Council of Government, or the COG, and their General Assembly. Um, this year's theme is AI, or artificial intelligence. Our city is already using that with our Pano AI system for wildfire detection. What this is all about is an opportunity for all 16 cities that are members, plus the two county seats that are represented by the COG to get an opportunity to see what others are doing, share knowledge, which is really what the COG does best. And for Rancho Palos Verdes, we'll have an opportunity to figure out tools for our great staff to be able to utilize in the future. We have a lot of complex issues and problems out there with limited resources. And so if we can use uh, artificial intelligence to make our lives better and easier and things better for our residents, certainly something we want to do. For all the residents and community members that are saying, well, I'm a little skeptical about this. This is making me nervous. What do you say to them? Well, I mean, I, anytime you talk to a resident in Rancho Palos Verdes, they're always skeptical, which I love the healthy skepticism. Um, I would say, yeah, always be skeptical. I, I think that you, just because a machine is putting out an output doesn't mean it's right necessarily. I think we still need to use our collective brains to look at things and look at answers and say that makes sense or doesn't make sense. And if it doesn't, then we challenge it. I mean, I, I think that any type of healthy skepticism, but you know, once again, this is just like when the computer came out or just like, I guess, the abacus or whatever, you go back in time. These are just new tools that could be used for mankind to move forward as a collective. And so that's what we're going to be discussing today. Excellent. I know you also serve on the board of the South Bay City Council of Government, a very important organization. What do you want to share about what the role is of this group? Sure. Well, and I had the honor of being chair last year. Um, this group is a great group of problem solvers. I think that people come to the board meetings at the COG uh, committed to learning and committed to sharing what they've learned in their community and being able to help others to do better. And a lot of our problems don't stop at our borders. Our problems go beyond even just the South Bay. And so we have an opportunity to always share that information, whether it be transportation issues, environmental issues, housing issues. These are all things that the COG has been tackling over the last several years. And that's why I've really enjoyed being a part of it because it helps the city of Rancho Palos Verdes to participate as a collective in the South Bay. Great to be with our former mayor of Rancho Palos Verdes, Jackie Backrack, who's the leader of the South Bay City Councils of Government as well. Congratulations on today's assembly. Give us a play-by-play -play of what's going on in your message to the community. Well, we're very excited to have everyone here today at the 24th Annual General Assembly for the South Bay City's Council of Governments. Today's theme is artificial intelligence, and we're hoping to give our cities a practical understanding of how they can use artificial intelligence to help them in their jobs and what they should be watching out for. We have an exhibit hall with a lot of our cities and community agencies here to talk about what they're doing in the community, and then we have a round of speakers that are going to be talking about artificial intelligence for cities and what we need to know. I know the COG, your organization, you're on the cutting edge of trying to do what benefits our cities, what benefits our community. What are your concerns and what are you looking to hear about AI as we all are cautiously optimistic? Well, I think we all have to understand its limitations. For example, we now use AI for minutes, summarizing minutes, and when you read them, they're not always right. So you can use it as a tool, but you have to monitor it. And I think that's the caution that I think we need to get everybody to know. Quite a lineup today, including Congressman Ted Lieu as the keynote. What are you expecting the takeaways from what he has to say and, and his role in, in educating us all about AI? 
he's on the cutting edge. He's a computer scientist himself, and we want him to tell us what the what he sees both today and into the future that we should all be aware of. And we're just so delighted to have an expert like that representing the South Bay. Overall, with all your years of experience serving on our city councils in the role you have, do you are you excited about AI, or how would you describe what you're thinking? You know, every new technology deserves um, understanding, caution, but then we all adapt to it and we find all the benefits. So we're in that stage where we're not quite sure yet, but I think we'll all learn to incorporate it into our lives. I'm Aram Moranian, Rancho Palos Verdes City Manager, coming live to you from Carson here at the South Bay COGS. Uh, General Assembly. This year's theme is artificial intelligence. And let me tell you, um, as city manager, you question whether artificial intelligence, otherwise known as AI, is your friend or your foe. T this year's General Assembly will focus on various topics associated with artificial intelligence. And for a city manager and uh, for the operations of the city, what's very important is how does artificial intelligence help the organization operate? And how do we use artificial intelligence to um, improve services to the community. The other thing is, is what, what are we looking for to uh, prevent any mishaps or misuse of artificial intelligence? So there's a lot to gain here. I hope after today's conference, we have more information and more skills to be able to incorporate artificial intelligence in our everyday operations at Rancho Palos Verdes. Hi everybody, my name is Lizzie Wilmarth. I'm with Pano AI, and we have a really wonderful partnership with the city of Rancho Palos Verdes because our cameras detect wildfires due to AI enabled capabilities. And so we're helping protect your community and your natural resources. What our artificial intelligence technology does is it's able to detect smoke from very far distances. Our cameras can see up to 10 miles. And so during the day we can detect smoke and during the nighttime we can detect heat. And then we're able to get alerts to you sometimes 15 to 20 minutes before you're able to get them from a 911 call. Hi, I'm Shauna Hunter and I work for the Public Safety Division in our Administration Department at the City of Rancho Palos Verdes. And I'm here today um, representing Rancho Palos Verdes Emergency Services and Public Safety with a booth which is behind us. And that booth, um, we're focusing today's South Bay COGS General Assembly is about AI's usage. And in the City of Rancho Palos Verdes, we are using AI in two different ways in the Pano AI, which is our wildfire cameras, and we are also using it in our ALPR system. And so we're here representing and giving information to the public about these two systems, along with emergency services and resources for the community. So at this time, I want to welcome Congressman Ted Liu. You say a few words, and we'll be done. We'll have a seat. Thank you. In terms of AI, I want people to understand that it's going to come to most people in the form of a product and they should just use it and test it out. If they like it, use it. If they don't like it, don't use it, but don't be scared of it. Uh, it is here, it's here to stay. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about how we might want to harness the technology but mitigate any risks. I know that some of the speakers before you talked about the fear that a lot of us have about the use of AI, but it's here, like you said, you've introduced a bill to see perhaps how we can use it with healthcare, for example. Talk about that role, like what you see in the future, the benefits. Sure, so I'm not an expert in how you fold human proteins, but I do know it takes about four to five years for a person getting a PhD to tell you how to fold one human protein. AI has folded all 200 and some million human proteins known to humankind and given that out to medical researchers. So we're just gonna see some amazing advancements come sooner rather than later, and it's very really exciting in the healthcare field to see how AI can make it more efficient and have additional therapies and new developments. I know you actually are co-chairing now a uh, on cybersecurity committee that deals with artificial intelligence. What's your role, what's your challenges that you're seeing right now? Uh, so I'm very pleased that Speaker Johnson and Leader Jeffries established the Bipartisan House Task Force on AI. I am the co-chair of it along with Congress Member Jay Obernolte and our task is to basically come up with guidelines and regulations and how we might want to regulate AI and what kinds of AI we might want to regulate. Big challenge. I'll let you go. I'm just curious in your own personal life, Congressman, how you see AI baked in and helping you out right now. <laughs> so I am a recovering computer science major. This is something I followed 
uh, for decades and many years, but now we're seeing amazing advancements uh, in AI at a scale that you know most of us never thought would happen. Now we're seeing it happen. And so I just want people to understand, it's you don't have to know about AI to use it for the same way, for example, I don't know how to program a word processor, neither do most people, but we started to get a word processor like Microsoft Word. And like, oh, this is pretty cool. And then you can do things on it, you can spell check and so on, and all of a sudden we saw less secretaries. And so it's going to have labor disruption, it's going to make some tasks more efficient, it's going to eliminate some human tasks, and so those are some of the things we're focused on. By former RPV Mayor Jim Knight, we meet at this conference every year. This year's topic, of course, artificial intelligence. Your concerns, your message to the community about AI. Well, um, it, it can be a very valuable tool for a lot of things, um, but ultimately there's certain fear that it could get out of control. But ultimately, we are in control. We created artificial intelligence, um, and we can make sure that it doesn't go in a direction that's not good for our general health and, uh, and safety. I just came here to understand the how, what's the benefit of the AI, as well as the drawback of the AI. And but from the from my understanding that AI is uh, coming so new, it's the beginning of the technology. But we need to know that we have to adopt, and we do, we don't need to be scared of it. We need to utilize it, uh, you know, as much as possible because most of business are doing the you know already adopting it, and we need to see how. Far where we go. 83% um, of companies globally believe that AI is important for their future. The South Bay City's Council of Governments is planning to post this entire conference on YouTube. You can check out the information on their website at southbaycities.org. That's a wrap for this RPV TV update. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. Thanks for watching.